guys! How are you all doing today? I've had a pretty good day so far. I hope you guys have too. I'm a little irritated because I'm currently reading uh, City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare and currently pretty well all the characters are annoying me to be honest. I just kind of want to shake them all. I'm almost a little bit over halfway so it could get a lot better. I'm happy to talk about a different book instead because this book did not make me want to shake the characters. I really enjoyed this book and this book was Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. Uh, this is book one in the Infernal Devices trilogy and I don't have my copy with me. This is still the, this is the library copy that I should probably take back. Anyways, so I really enjoyed this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 on Goodreads. It was so, so good. I'd heard some mixed reviews, like some people saying that it's not near as good and stuff. I completely disagree. That may have to do with the fact that it's this book was set in London and I love anything to do with like England and stuff. This was set in London in the reign of Queen Victoria, I believe. The main girl Tessa. She's actually only 16 so she's pretty similar to the age of when we start out of Clary in the Mortal Instruments series. Um, the difference is I feel like Clary a lot of times did act very immature whereas Tessa in this book I feel like she really acts older than she is. People maybe just acted a little bit more mature than nowadays 15 and 16 year olds. I really liked all the characters in this book. For those of you who have not read this book, it starts out with Tessa, like I was just talking about, and she is from New York, which is where the Mortal Instruments series takes place in. She ends up leaving New York because her, her brother now lives in London. Her brother Nathaniel, I believe they just call him Nate or like Nathan. Well, he's moved to London since, so it's just her and her aunt. And so after her aunt passes away, she leaves America and she goes to see her brother in London. So she's not by herself and basically she's just trying to get to her brother that's like her main goal and she ends up kind of getting tricked and um, she ends up in kind of a predicament and she has to kind of have the help of some shadow hunters Will Herondale is one of them and I really that's what, another thing I really like about this book is all the parallels from the Mortal Instruments series to this book. I really am liking the Mortal Instruments series so far with an exception of this book. It was just really fun to be still in the same world with the shadow hunters and the downworlders and the demons and all it's the same world it's just so much earlier and I really really enjoy that. So for those of you who haven't read it it's just kind of Tessa's journey to finding her brother and um, there's someone called the Magister who is trying to find Tessa. And I didn't mention Tessa can do something extraordinary. She's not a normal person. She can actually uh, change forms and she can become an entirely new person. She can take on all of their qualities and she kind of learns like how to, you know, manipulate that and control it. Kind of just, it's kind of her journey figuring out what she is and how she can control her abilities and she's trying to find her brother and she's trying to stay away from the Magister and um, she's meeting handsome men such as Jim and Will. So this book does not deal, I feel, as much as, it's kind of like a different enemy. They're not really just focused on destroying demons so much. I do recommend you read it. So good. Catch my attention the whole time. Go read it and then come back because uh, the rest of us are now going to discuss the book in detail. I really like Tessa. I I really like Will. I love characters that make me laugh and Cassandra Clare, she has um, created a lot of characters that make me laugh. Jace makes me laugh in the Mortal Instruments uh, series and Will makes me laugh in this trilogy. I love all the parallels like with the cat, uh, church, you hear familiar names like the Lightwoods and the Herondales. I like how, I really liked Henry's character. For some reason he reminded me of Mr. Weasley in the Harry Potter series. I don't know why. I think it was because of red hair. He was like kind of crazy and some people didn't take him seriously like at the Ministry of Magic but he really does make a difference. He really does do stuff that's like of importance just maybe not everyone thinks it's that important and I feel like that's how Henry is. I feel like he's kind of just made fun of and he's just not respected and I think that he is so much more than like we see right now like with the censor and things that he's creating. The 
things that are still around in Jace and Clary's time. And I really like Henry. Charlotte, the same thing. I thought she was so much older than she really was. Like, that really shocked me. And it turns out she's only 23. But I do like how she does throw in some romance because I like romance. And so I like how is the romance between Tessa and Will. I really just like Tessa's brother. I think he's a huge jerk. I did not see that coming. I don't know about you guys. Ever he betrayed them all. Find out that he basically killed his aunt and he does not care about his sister whatsoever. In fact, he said that she's not even his sister and that she's not human and he like won't even acknowledge that that's, you know, their blood. And it's just ridiculous. I thought that was super interesting with like the Magister and finding out who really it is. I had no, I thought it really was De Quincey. I think that's how you pronounce it. Then to find out that it was the freaking what's his face that Charlotte and Henry had visited like towards the beginning of the book like what? I did not see that coming. Whole like robot, uh, what were they called? Automons or something? Like the robots were just creepy and I can't, ugh, like they had real human skin and that was just gross. It was super creepy. The part with Tessa and Jim and um, Jim has like the blood and then it's like wiping its hands and the blood on his chest and then it was able to later open the doors because only like someone with the blood of a shadow hunter could open it and I was just awful because then they get in the institute and people start dying and people that I like like Thomas it was just it was just sad. Like, I hated the part whenever Will and Jim get tricked and um, they end up going to see like the Dark Sisters and it was just to get them out of the Institute so they can protect Tessa. Uh, this book it didn't have very much to do with demons. Did you guys notice that? It was mostly just shadow hunters and vampires. But I'm just so used to so much like killing of demons and stuff and in this it's just those like robots. But I did like the vampires a lot. I really liked, I think Camille, is that how you pronounce her name? I really liked her character. I don't know, she's just so like classy and you know there's something about her that was like you know she could rip your head off but she's just so beautiful and people do have respect for her I think and it was really creepy whenever Tessa became her and her heart stopped beating that was super crazy and creepy to think about. Jessamine by the way that's a very strange name I've never heard of that name I think they called her like Jessie at one time and that's well, my family calls me Jessie, um, so I can understand that name, but Jessamine? Anyways, um, I'm not sure what I think about her character. She reminded me of Isabel a lot, but it was different because she didn't really want to be a shadow hunter, and you're kind of, a lot of times I feel like she was just kind of being whiny and kind of annoying, but overall I did like her. I mean, I liked that when the time came, she knew how to kick butt, and so she did it, and like when her and Tessa were like at that park, it'd be probably hard for someone who doesn't really want to embrace it to embrace it, I guess. You kind of have to be like all or nothing. Yeah, it was a little bit of a kick in the face whenever like this whole book, Tessa is just worrying about her brother and doing things um, for her brother and she finds out basically he's just betrayed her and he doesn't care about her whatsoever. They've even taken him into the institute and freaking Jessamine is like hoping to become his wife, which that was kind of funny. I thought that part was funny when she's like hopping up and trying to get him all this stuff and Tess is like, Psh, he's not going to notice any of this extra kindness because to him he expects people. I really don't like that. I didn't like him even before I found out he like betrayed her. I just kind of thought he was a snob and he just kind of was spoiled and I just didn't really care for him and then I find out what he did and I'm just like bah! the ending was a total cliffhanger with like Will oh I didn't say uh, I love that Magnus was in this book I love that him and Camille like dated that's so strange because you only think of him and Alec really but I do like how I don't know if you caught that in the book when he was talking about people with black hair and blue eyes and how that like you know, he was a sucker for that, and I'm like, Alex! So I really enjoyed that Magnus was in the book, because he is, um, he's grown on me a lot through these books, and I enjoy his, I enjoy his character a lot. Oh, another thing I me didn't mention about the brother is I hate how you start to sympathize for him, like when the vampires are going to drain his blood and kill him and all that, and you're feeling so bad for the jerk, and then he goes and freaking betrays Tessa, and it's just, ugh, it makes you angry, because you wish he'd just never been freed, and... I think I said a couple shadow hunters even died during that like raid of all of those vampires and those two lives could have been spared and freaking Nate the idiot could have died. The ending was a total cliffhanger though with Will and like Magnus now he's talking about like how he's got to talk to him about something. Oh I forgot about Jim. Jim's character he seems so sweet and I really like him. I couldn't believe you know when he talked about his past 
and happened to him and his mother and father and how you know he was tortured in front of his parents and that was just awful if you could imagine having to watch your child be tortured um, and you can't do anything about it and then they were injecting the drug and how he was literally like addicted to something that he couldn't help he couldn't help it at all and he was dying slowly from it and they're looking for a cure but Jim basically asked them to stop. I just felt so bad for him. I couldn't believe that he just seemed like such a great guy. All right, so summed up, it was a super good book. Um, you should all read it, it was awesome. Um, I loved it and it was just really good. And I hope I didn't leave anything out because I usually write down a few main points like I want to talk about and I didn't do that today. So hopefully I don't regret it when I'm like later uploading it or something and then I'm like, ah, drat, and then it's too late. So I guess if I think of anything else, I could put it in the description. But, uh, but yes, yeah, so have an awesome day. I will see you later. Bye.